Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unboxing to do today. And this is part two of second delivery of craft buddy items. <laughs> so I ordered some items uh, that are craft buddy crystal art items through Create and Craft TV. Um, the frameables arrived first and they were in a separate package. And then my second package that I received a few days later uh, were these two canvases and also the new little snow globe style um, decorations, uh, which I've also done the video on. So this is the third video from this one order, but they're quite uh, big items to look through. So I thought I would split them up that little bit so you can see them. So yeah, this is a very, very boring cardboard box here, but I assure you it has got something very nice inside. So. We'll look at that one last because I'll have to struggle with that box. Uh, they're both 40 by 50 kits and they were in the clearance section on uh, Create and Craft TV. And I believe I only paid around about £12 for each of these two canvases that I've got. And they are normally £29.99. So, or oh, £26.99 sometimes as well. Depends on the um, actual canvas. So I thought, well, I've wanted this one for a long time and the other one, well, you'll see why I wanted that one. So, yeah, they're very, very good. I mean, this is the Titanic one, which, as I say, I have wanted this one for a while. It's a strange thing, maybe, to put up on a wall, sort of celebrating um, the sinking of a ship. Uh, but it was a very big part of our history. So, yeah, um, Hubby is absolutely mad on anything to do with Titanic. We have been to Liverpool and seen all the exhibitions and everything there to do with Titanic and all the survivors tales and all the artefacts and things that they have at that uh, exhibition there. So, yeah, um, I said I just really wanted to get this one. This is one of the older kits that's been on the go for a long, long time. Um, it's called Sunken Dreams. And oops, you do have the a little a paper boy just at the bottom there with his newspaper. So again, wonderful packaging from Craft Buddy. You're a great handle on your box. And yeah, I just love Craft Buddy's uh, packaging. Uh, it tells you what you get in your kit here and tells you how to diamond paint on the back. Uh, this one's only got four languages. They now come in six languages. That's just the four little flags. So I know that this is a little bit older one as well. So yeah, but I don't mind. As I say, um, sometimes waiting, you know, if you see something and it's just come out and you think, well, are they gonna sell out of it or not? And obviously they've not sold out of this one, but they are now selling them at a very very cheap price oh i've just noticed something in this bottom corner that i hadn't seen before anyway so let's get into this one and have a look and let's see what we've got they are pre-framed so you don't need to go out and buy a frame for them so basically i've got a diamond painting picture that has a frame already so once it's all diamond painted it will go up on the wall no problem okay let me get this this cellophane bag and yes i do keep all of the cellophane bags if you saw my uh, donations to charity where i put all of uh, my items into cellophane bags and put bows on them then uh, yeah they're very handy to keep these so what's that in there just a little bit of cardboard i think Right, so we have a lot of gems and these are all resin gems. So, yeah, okay. All the uh, packets have the kit number on as well, which is also on the canvas. And you have your key code here on the side with your little scissor thing there. Look to cut it off. Um, why they don't put the name on this, I've never known. Um, you know, it tells you DMC numbers there, all your capital letters and then small letters and then the numbered 1 to 26. This one has 26 colours. But I quite often write with a ballpoint pen onto the canvas um, just saying this will just say Titanic so that I know if this, because I do cut these off to use them, um, so I'll know which one this belongs to. I wonder why they don't put the code number or whatever on that side. I suppose they think, well, you've got it on there and you've got it on the drills. 
Mm. I know I tend to kit things up and then it might be a while before I then actually start the canvas. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, this was, has one of the really good old style uh, tool kits in it. So we'll have a quick look. Um, but it has the little pot of your wax there with crystal art branding on it. So you've got two little round circles of your wax. Uh, don't forget to take the plastic cover off the wax as well otherwise you'll be sat there trying to get some wax and it's just a plastic cover and I speak from experience <laughs> they don't do that anymore um, or they don't do it in many I've not seen it for a while you've got your two little grip, um, pen grips in purple which match the purple crystal art on the uh, white pens there oh that one's got a bit scuffed never mind have a three places so that's like your multi place a place where you can pick three gems up at a time or they're very good for picking up special drills but yeah you've got your little uh, pen grips there great for it if it's a bit warm and uh, your hands get a bit sticky uh yeah just make and it gives you a little bit more comfort as well for holding the pens if you do use the pens that come with the kits they don't always put these in the kits now either. I've not bought one of the new large kits for a while, so I'm not 100% sure what you do get, but I know that um, they have sort of like scaled back a little bit on the kits. There's usually about 20 grip seal bags, but I think there's more than 20 there, so maybe there might be enough. There might be 26 there to put all of your colours in um, as you're going along if you don't want to kit up, if you just want to open your packet and put them in one of the little bags. And then you have your two uh, little boats. You've got your little white boat, which is your normal standard one. And then you have a little white flat bottom boat, which has a little spout as well. So it makes them easier if you do kit up for pouring back into bottles or for pouring into your little bags. So yeah, they've always been a very nice little toolkit. Craft today. Be interesting to see what uh, toolkit is in the other, uh, other canvas I've bought because that one is a slightly newer one so we'll see all right pop those in over there and we've got our uh, generic leaflet there again it's it's only four languages which now they actually have six telling you how to diamond paint telling you what you get in your kit and just a little bit about other pro uh, projects that you can get as well so i've got lion king on there and that was a fairly not a really old one but they're old style cards and the little frameables that haven't been uh, out for a while so okay so let's have a look at the canvas it is a partial uh, i'm gonna have to do it this way i'm afraid because it's not going to fit on my desk otherwise so it is only where oh and there's no key code with this either so we've got dmc codes on the um key code that's on the side but there's no dmc codes anywhere else and there's not one of the little leaflets in this one that was something they started doing later on so so yeah, um, and it looks as though it is actually based on the film because this is like the Captain Smith and uh, this looks a little bit like Kate Winslet, doesn't it, from the film. So yeah, and then we've got all your people here. They're not, oops, diamond painted either. My little girl on the swings decided to join in. So it's just mainly the ship and the whole of the bottom of the canvas that actually has the gems on it. So it is quite a quickish one to do. We've got another ship in the background there as well. And we've got a little logo there, white star line. So although it's a 40 by 50, they do tend to do quite quickly these because there's not as many gems. You've probably only about half of the canvas, if you put it all together, actually has gems on it. Um, we've got the little boy here with his evening news, but I've just noticed not just the sinking ship had seen that, but we've got a little lifeboat there with some people in it. So, um, as I say, I'm not sure whether this one will actually go on the wall. Um, it will depend. We, we maybe will, we maybe will. I don't know. But I do like the fact that it's Titanic. And as I say, Hubby absolutely loves Titanic. And for £12, it would have been rude not to. <laughs> uh, I have to say, when I watched the Titanic film that had Kate Winslet in, I was a little bit disappointed. Um 
I would because it was sort of like billed as what really happened to the Titanic and true to life and everything, which yeah it was, but then it had this soppy love story going all the way through the middle of it. And that wasn't what I was expecting. Um yeah, I was expecting more sort of like of true to life of people that were actually on the ship that were maybe telling their story and their life story a little bit more. Uh, rather than a made-up couple that were having a bit of a romance. So, yeah, when I first watched it, I was like, oh, oh, I'm very disappointed. I wasn't expecting that. But then I watched it again, knowing it was a love story, and thoroughly enjoyed it, and I've watched it several times since. So, Because I do like Kate Winslet. I think she looks beautiful in it. She's uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was okay. Um yeah, I've seen him in a lot of things, but uh, yeah, I did uh, enjoy the film after I'd got over the shock of it wasn't quite what I was expecting when I saw it the first time. <laughs> I'm very picky, what can I say? Right, let's have a quick look at these gems and the colours. So what do we say? There's 26 different colours. They are all resin drills, so they're the better quality. You can get two types of your standard like little round gems, your little drills. And the resin ones tend to have more facets on them, more cuts on them. So they sparkle that bit more because the light catches them a little bit more. And the acrylic ones tend to be a little bit lighter. Um, and they're just not quite the quality of the uh, of the resin ones so that's two different types but these are all resin the better quality so i think we're going to have yeah lots of blues and things so we've got two blues there they are different ones aren't they? yeah they are slightly different sometimes in this light they do look the same but a dark gray and a light gray and like a denim blue and another shade of a denim blue that's like a, a navy blue that one a very midnight navy blue They've all just fallen off the edge of the desk. So if I suddenly go, woo, up this way, you'll know why. It's the weight of the gems pulling me over. <laughs> We've got a darker grey, a uh, chestnutty brown, uh, a little bit lighter brown, a little bit lighter brown, a little bit lighter brown. This is the thing with Craft Buddy that I love. Their charting and their shading is amazing. They will never just use one or two colours when three or four would look better. And even if there's only going to be, say, a couple of dozen um, gems on it just for the extra shading, they will always do that. They don't scrimp on what they're doing. They're wonderful. Um, I do sing the praises, but I do think they are a really good company. Uh, we've got you like pale, pumpkin-y peachy colour, a very pale grey, and we've got a peppermint cream green. Uh, another couple of denim blue colours, depending on how many times you've washed your jeans. A pale grey blue and that one that looks like that's a very dark blue as well it's, uh, it's not black I think that is a really really dark blue very dark brown and an even darker brown and another blue and a peachy colour and a dark grey and a pale peach with a few escapees in it and then that one what colour is that one then? That's another, is that green or is it blue? No, it's blue. So let me just have a look on the key code on the back. So we have, that's 3799. And oh, I was thinking one of them would be a 939, but we haven't got 936, 823, and then 336 of the dark blues. Oh, so, oh, we've not got a 310. Oh, I was expecting this to be some black in this, but there's not one black in this one. So, yeah. Okay. So, that is our Titanic. And then just, that's a 3865-ish, I think. Okay, let me just get these put back into the bag and we'll have a look at this one. So this one has come in a box as well uh, and it's a little bit more seasonal this one I think you'll see when we get it let me just get this open here using my little knife as you can see my eyes are apart just get this one open at this little corner 
and yeah it's a box in a box <laughs> oh look it's i was just about to sing then it's beginning to look a lot like christmas but i better not don't want any copyright strikes on me uh it's actually showing one of the old toolkits as well so maybe this is an older one that i've just not spotted hmm okay so yeah we've got the jolly snowman in the garden and as i say for the price i think they're wonderful to get a canvas that's uh, licensed so you know you're not worrying about that uh, it's all licensed art and it comes pre-framed is wonderful okay let's get into this it's the same sort of box with the same things and this one has the six different languages on it so it is one of the newer ones uh, as I said, the old ones only had four on. So this is one of the newer canvases. That's just the way I tell them anyway. <laughs> I suppose I could have kept all the old catalogues because uh, it would have been in there. So, okay. Oh, yeah, we have got the same toolkit, so that's good. Okay. Let's just get it out of its packet as well. All right, so same generic leaflet. Oh, no, it's not. That's set uh, then. The generic leaflet also has the six different languages on. And the toolkit is identical. So we have still got the pot and the little grips for the pens. So, yeah, I do like those toolkits. So I, I don't really use those pens, but I do like the toolkits. We have uh, 26 colours. We can, oops. There's your little key code on the back there, 26 uh, colours and we do have your DMC codes. Uh, we have one crystal and three larger rounds because the um, anything that's a, a standard crystal size on Craft Buddy starts with a zero on the number and anything that's a Y is a large round. Uh, anything with an M at the beginning is a marquee and anything with an S at the beginning is a teardrop. Why they've got S's for teardrops I don't know. But uh, it would make more sense to be a T, but anyway, it's an S. <laughs> so, yeah, they categorise their own uh, gems there. Okay, so let's have a look at the picture. There is a big bag of gems in there. That's going to be quite a bit of uh, doing this one, I believe. Okay, all right. So, sorry, I'm going to have to show you it this way around again. So, this one is a full drill canvas so the whole of the canvas is covered whereas titanic was a partial this one is a whole and it is 40 by 50 i didn't measure the titanic but i will just quickly show you they are always true to size these as well so yeah 50 centimeters 19 and three quarter inches by 40 centimeters 15 and three quarter inches so yeah, lovely size. Look at all this white at the bottom. Oh, and we've got two little robins down here. Look, they're laid flat at the moment. They must be tired because <laughs> I've got it sideways. But I just thought this was such a lovely Christmassy picture. And he's such a happy, smiley snowman. And we have got all the snow coming down as well. So this is going to be a lovely one to do. They've got a lovely... Um, I've got a lovely wreath on this gate. Look, it's like a picket fence with a little gate on it. And uh, yeah, that lovely big wreath and your Christmas tree there as well. And the house in the background with the warm glowing lights. So it's obviously an evening type picture. And then we've just got other trees here. But I don't like the two little robins there. They've just come to say hello to the snowman. Or they may be saying, ooh. Fred, you go and get that nose. That's a carrot. I quite like carrots. <laughs> you get his nose and I'll get the berries off his folly. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at these gems. Gorgeous. Now, this one is crying out for AB gems. That's Aurora Borealis and it's like an a coated gem and um, that's like an iridescent coating on and it makes it sparkle more and what i will probably do is use full ab uh, white gems on the christmas tree 
and then the snow and the snowman what i do is get 50 50 so i get a bag of just standard white and a bag of a b crystals and mix them together so you get a really random spattering of uh, your gems there and then you get the a b just spattered out rather than doing it all a b it would be too much and the colors would be a little bit off but if you just put odd ones in between it just adds a little something and i will probably put all the snowdrops coming down as well as a b um maybe some on the trees i don't know but yeah i'm certainly going to bling this one up a lot more if these um little uh, berries on this and his hat aren't crystals then i will put uh, those as crystals and all of the christmas tree the gold the red and the green will all be um, crystals as well so we'll see what we've got when we have a look and see where they've charted them but yeah it, christmas you've just got to have some bling at christmas i love the sparkle and i love the bling all right so okay oh it looks like these are our three specials then so we've got two large rounds there which are like a, a lemony gold color we've got some green ones and we've got some red ones so are these for the christmas tree uh what have we got l p and b so l b is the green one and p oh no we've got to have a star on the top of top of the tree fortunately i've got a lot of spare stars so yeah i'm not just going to use a round gem on there i am going to put a star at the top of the tree um so l yeah they are they've put red ones the larger red ones just dotted in between the normal red uh, mm. so yeah i'm gonna put these crystal red ones and i'm gonna try and match these up with the standard size red crystals and put these on there as well and then is that gold yeah they have put gold the uh, ones on the tree there as well are gold so yeah it's quite blingy there um, I may put some ABs um, on his scarf and I may actually put, I might do the holly. In fact, I might do all of this as crystals, the wreath and the um, bow there and on his hat there as well. Because it does look quite nice mixing in the crystals with the acrylic gems. It just gives it a different dimension and I do prefer that really. So yeah, I may do that. We'll just have to see see how I'm feeling when I do it, but I will make sure I've got them on hand. Wow, look at that. We have three bags of white, and I think that is the B5200 white colour. So, yeah, that's easy to just swap out for awesome. some AB whites as well. Just mix them together. I always have a mixed bag on hand uh, for when I'm doing Christmassy things because it just makes that a little bit more interest. Okay. Let's have a look here. I've got the key code here so I can have a look as well as we're going through on these. I should have done it on the last one, shouldn't I? If there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it, and this fan's the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're starting off with your standard 310 black and a lovely deep russety red and a couple of greys. This will all be your shading in your snow and some more russety reds and a cherry red and a christmas green and beige and orange i think that's for the front of the robin's fronts i might change that out to red seems to be a real trend on putting robin's fronts as orange but to me they always look really red not quite sure whether that uh, is just me or not but anyway a little bit of paler peachy yellow and a couple more greys are they the same color yes they are so that's going to be your shading on your snow so that your uh, different bits stand out. And then we've got a burgundy and a dark brown and a chestnut brown and a mocha brown and a pale of coffee and an even pale of coffee. And all your different greens there. And then that's a very dark grey and then your whites and your gold at the end. So yeah, very nice. Just get these put away, try and encase them. They're just going everywhere. I'm making a real pig's ear at this. <laughs> Pop those in there as well. 
so again no separate uh, key code or anything on this one um it is just your key code on the back of your canvas but all your letters are on your gems as well if you're working from your bags of gems okay i do wish that particularly the christmas ones uh, that there was just that little bit more bling more ab's and more crystals and things in them um but I suppose not everybody likes the Aurora Borealis and not everybody likes the crystal. So maybe by not putting them in, then you've got the choice if you've got some spare gems yourself that you can bling it up a little bit more yourself. So we've had our partial Titanic ship one there. And then we've got our lovely smiley snowman, which is absolutely gorgeous. Loving him okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to come back and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now